Okay, there's a lot with this one, but someone please tell me if this makes any sense. There's a lot of fucking preamble, and you need to know this, and you need to know that, but whoever knows, will fucking know what I'm talking about. So here we are in Egypt. At this spot, the coolest fucking place on earth, or whatever. No one can figure out what's going on with these damn pyramids. But consider this for a second. This roadway is made out of big blocks. And these big blocks are loosely, f they bounce a bit. They move, they shift, the way they're mounted in the thing, there's like a crack or something you can go and look through. Now, so how would that happen? It would happen because they're mounted in rubber in this track. Why would they be mounted in rubber? So that is just how you move big stone. You coat them in rubber. So how does that work? So, who cares? Say you have an obelisk, and you want to, it's, it's, it's trapped in the quarry, and you want to get it out of the quarry. How do you do that? How the hell do you move this thing out of the quarry? No one can figure it out. Because it seems like the only way you can do it is you just come in with a crane, and you pick the fucking thing up, and you and you get it out of the thing, and you move it to where you need to go. But they didn't have cranes, they couldn't hide cranes, all this other stuff. So how do you do it? You coat it in rubber. What does that help you with? So, so now you can... You, uh hit it on the bottom, it's going to want to go up, but it can't go up because it's, it's all the friction and everything, and so you push here, where is it getting stuck, if we push here, but if I push on the top of it, you can see that it's going to go down and dig in, but if I push on the bottom of it, it wants to go up. Right? So... Push on the bottom. So it means you'd also have to push it on the top. on the top you don't push as much you push on the bottom because overall you want it to go up right you're pushing it on the bottom here and then you have to hit it on the top here but you don't push you just hit it so that it's, it's loose and it's vibrating the problem with this is that you you can't get the a lot of energy to get it moving still regardless but if you've ever driven a car before you know that once you got the momentum going you got the momentum going and it, it, it's stored and you can shift into second gear and now you can speed up and get more momentum and then you can shift into third and so on and so on that's just how moving stuff works once you get it going it's going and so this thing's coated in rubber you only need to coat it on the bottom it's so easy to do as you're carving it, and you carve it out, and, and the last fucking step is you put the rubber in, and you crack it, and you're ready to go. And so now you get it going this way, and up, and this, and up, and this, and up, and this, and up. How, you can't be hitting it with a hammer. You can't be hitting it with a hammer. You're going to break the rock. <laughs> That's how rocks work. So how do you how do you hit it, and how do you move it? You sit on top of the fucking thing. 
You get everyone sitting on top of it, shuffling and moving. But how do they know how to shuffle? How do they know when to move? Music! So you've got so not only this, you got musicians off to the side doing the timing. How do they know the timing to get it up the thing? The fucking engineers and the scientists who fucking spent days and weeks and months fucking around in the sand with fucking rubber and rocks to figure out what the fucking frequency is, and then, then they can make a fucking song to it. Boom, ba boom, 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 whatever the fuck it is, and then you go up the fucking thing. But this is just so crazy just to think about this transportation method. I hear that train coming, it's coming around the bend, and I don't know whether I'll see that thing again. It's an actual train. You don't have to build a train track. It has to be flat, and you're on rubber, and you just bounce the fucking thing along. You don't have to be, in, you don't have to be stuck. You can be on the flat. This is how you drive around Egypt. <laughs> And so, getting back to all this bullshit, that's what this is. That's how they got these stones into here. But they left the rubber on them. Because once you, you slide them along and you get them in, boom. It's a pain in the ass to get the rubber off, but also, the rubber means the rocks still vibrate. And if they can still vibrate, they can transfer energy, they can transfer sound. So, why would you need to transfer sound from here to here? And, and so before we even get to that, because this is already crazy enough, why would they even think of doing this? How would they come up with this bullshit of doing the sound, transfer it through the rock? send it up to the pyramid, I haven't even got there, it gets broadcast at high frequency, resonates with gold or crystal fucking shit, and you got music everywhere. But, how would you do this? Why would you think you could do this? What is, what is going on? Look right here. Look right here. Right fucking here. No, I've never seen any videos of this place. I've never seen anyone pull it up on the fucking map. <laughs> If you're looking for the treasure, you don't go on the map where the fucking people tell you the treasure is. That's where it's not. That's why they put it on the map. But this fucking place here, no one talks, no one goes there, nothing. But look at the fucking thing. It's got a sound amplifier built right into the fucker. Right fucking here. If you know what a fuck, if that was basic fucking shit, like what an amplifier is, was taught in fucking school, you'd fucking see this plain as fucking day like I do. It's a fucking amplifier. And not only that, it's a safe amplifier. It's a one-way amplifier. Meaning, if you're fucking here, the sound's not gonna come in and hurt you in here. But if you're in here, that sound is just blasting the fuck out of here. This is where you have concerts. In Egypt. And they figured this fucking shit out. They built this fucking wall to shape the fucking sound because they had this fucking shit and it was so fucking close. And there's probably a little something here and it was so fucking close. And they tuned the fucking thing up. Look at it! Look at it! If you fucking had eyes to see! <laughs> the most rudest fucking thing! I can't believe those motherfuckers keep saying that shit! How can you make those words come out of your fucking mouth and still think you're a cool motherfucker? I have no fucking idea. But anyways, we got a fucking sound amplifier. So they figured shit- It doesn't take long to figure shit out. You just do it and you figure it out. They figured out sound! That's what everyone's fucking tripping about and eat up the sound, the sound, and you go into this fucking room and it sounds like sound. Because they fucking figured it out. They had this fucking thing right here that no one will make a fucking video about. Go in there, clap, make some fucking noise. Please. So why in the fuck would it... So when, what the fuck is going on here? What the fuck is going on here? You got the fucking sound. 
and traveling through here. But how the fuck do you generate it? In the valley fucking temple. In the valley fucking temple. How the fuck do you do that? Without speakers and electronics and shit. You need to have electronics to understand sound. No, you don't. But, oh, and you need to have speakers to have sound loud. No, you don't. They already figured it out down here at the fucking other necropolis. Fucking bullshit. And the, what happens to the sound? What's going on in here with the sound? What the fuck would happen? You no, know, you can't go in. It's fucking sacred. They're all dead. They're all dead. There's no one home. Look at this, look at this, look at that. It's every fucking thing. These fucking maps. So, so how the fuck do you do this? You take, you take intestines, because that's how you make a guitar, and guess where fucking guitars come from? Probably Qatar, because everyone calls them a fucking guitar. And so... And how you make guitar is with cat gut. And cat gut isn't the fucking guts of cats. It's the guts of fucking sheep or whatever. But it doesn't have to be. The guts are guts. They make sound. They vibrate. So you make this fucking temple just full of fucking guts. You go in there and sing and they fucking vibrate. You get the bass. You get the high. You get everything. And it fucking transfers the fuck up this fucking fucking sound fucking thing up to here where it gets amplified or that's what they were trying to do but the thing with everything is you, you figure something and then you just go 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 and you think you have something but you don't or you do have something but you just can't do it because you just want to go 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 and so look at this fucking pyramid same fucking setup. It's got this fucking thing. It's got the fucking road. It's got a fucking thing. They're trying to figure out how to fucking broadcast this fucking sound. And you fucking can. Because once you get to the high frequencies, that's what radio is. Radio is just high frequency sound. It's all the fucking same bullshit. It's so stupid that people teach it as if it's a completely different fucking thing made out of completely different fucking shit. It's just sound at a really high fucking frequency. And so, if you can get the sound to transfer up to that high fucking frequency, now you have radio. And so now, you can broadcast sound all over your fucking bullshit. But how the fuck do you pick it up? You need a receiver. And you don't need any powered electronics at all because it's sound. And it just vibrates your fucking thing, the fucking thin piece of fucking metal, and amplifies it automatically. And this fucking Egypt place, they just will not show you anything at this fucking place. You fucking see their footage, they're, they're, they're fucking like this, they barely fucking pan. They won't go back like two fucking yards and just show the whole fucking what the fuck is the context, what's this and that. And then they, they go in the fucking museums, oh we go in one fucking museum barely and we'll show you two fucking things, same fucking things. We're just, we just can't figure out because we're fucking retarded. Show everything! You gotta see every fucking thing! You gotta see in every fucking museum, public, private, every fucking collection, public, private, private, every single fucking one! You gotta have everything fucking published if you wanna fucking brag! You're not bragging here in Egypt, you're fucking everyone! You're just trying to screw everyone over, get them all tripped up in the fucking head, come here and we'll steal your fucking money! You guys are fucked! Share everything you fucking got. I know you have fucking more than this bullshit you keep fucking showing. Oh, yeah, come here, come here. Look at this blame fucking bullshit. Look at the fucking map. There's shit everywhere here. Old shit, new shit. What the fuck do you have? Or do you not have shit and you're too fucking retarded to realize? The only fucking way to know is you ask me, because I know everything. And I'm not just fucking saying it. I actually fucking do.